All right, so it is 19.12 p.m. It's Wednesday evening, and I decided to do something different. I wanted to do a book review. Fun. So, from 2016, actually August 3rd, 2016, I was reading uh, Future's End, New 52. That was a hell of a trilogy. And I also read The Omnibus as well, which was even better. So, I finished Future's End Volume 3, and man, that whole trilogy was explosive, frightening, crazy, ultra dark, and definitely needs to be made into an animated film ASAP. Truth. Oh, man. Just the start and finish of that was brutal. Like, it starts out, the whole premise of the story is, um, Batman's OMAC initiative program takes over, and literally assimilates all the superheroes and shit and turns them into mechs. Really fucked up and he ends up getting killed, like always. And um Terry McGinnis, the new Batman from Batman Beyond it goes back in time to prevent it. Batman sends him back to stop it, but he arrives I think he arrived like five, three to five years before before, or no, after it started, I think. And what all was important about that? I know Terry dies. That's sad. I actually cried reading that. Um, Mr. Terrific was cool. I can't remember everything else, though, but it was amazing. Yeah, the omnibus was over a thousand pages. No, it's actually... 985, I think. But it was worth it, though. This shit was just so damn good. I fucking loved it. Let's see here. Finished. I'm outside, so I figured I'd do some cool shit. Bummer. Alright, but yeah, the Omnibus, five years later... That in itself was, like, that was, like, about that big, give or take. Maybe it was a little bit bigger, but that was just, that hurt my hand to read. It took me three days to finish it, and it added to Future's End so well, and gave it so much more depth, and gave revelations to what happened to everybody. So, I was happy about that. That's just kids biking by. Um, what else is there? There was something else really important. I don't know. But yeah, for the... DC... For DC, like, their events are darker and darker every time. And out of all the dark events that DC has gone through... This one is definitely in my top five for sure. I enjoyed it. It was amazing. It left me freaked out for sure. I was scared shitless for a while. Um, what else? I like how the, there was a lot of second... Let me look this up real quick. Because I... Let's see here. Futures. Yeah, because I, I read the whole thing, but cannot for the hell of me remember. Um, yeah, 35 years into the future, brother. I took a rest right now. Um, oh, yeah, that's what was so important. They added a bunch of new characters in the mix that I didn't know about. And... They were really phenomenal and shit. That's right, Green Arrow faked his death. Yeah, I forgot about that. That was the other important part. Yeah, and then, yeah, Earth 2 and all that. Now I remember, yeah. Oh, man. Woo. God, it was so crazy. <laughs> now I remember, yeah. I forgot about that. Because Green Arrow's funeral... 
that hit that hit hard because five years ago I was watching um, Arrow on CW, and I was like, oh shit, now I know how he dies, and then I finally faked his death. Oh damn! So yeah, that's right. That was crazy. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I feel about Future's End. Do I recommend it? Definitely. If you like Dark DC, you'll definitely enjoy this for sure. Um, who are my favorite characters, though? That's the thing I remember. Um, ah, Frankenstein. Yeah, Frankenstein was my favorite. Mr. Terrific's right behind him. Terry McGinnis, obviously. I like Batman Beyond. I grew up on that shit. Ah, Deathstroke. Yes. Yes, Deathstroke's arc. Oh, oh. Yes, Deathstroke's arc. Love that shit. Um, yeah, this shit made me want to read Earth 2. I never finished that series. I gotta finish that. So, <clears throat> yeah, New 52 Future Zone. You know, if you don't like DC, if you didn't like that event in particular, that's okay. Nobody likes everything that I go through or whatever you were into. Um... If you don't like the writers, writers, artists involved, that's okay. Uh, it was written by Brian, oh god, Azarelli, no, Azarello, Jeff Lemire, Dan Jurgens, Keith Giffen. Yeah. yeah, that shit was crazy wild. Oh my god. That was a wild fucking journey. Woo. So, <clears throat> yeah, they included all that. That's the, that's the thing I like about the omnibuses they put out. The five years later was a bunch of separate issues, and then they put together one omnibus, which was nice. But then, you know, down the road, they'll throw it all together into a giant omnibus, and then you have, you have the main story, and then you've got the follow-up story. So it's an even, it's like, 16 1800 pages or some shit so it's fun so if you don't like comics you won't enjoy this at all but if you do like reading this is definitely something for your collection to check out so i'll be back with a tv show review stay tuned